Hello, YouTube followers. This is Gray, uh, California Sweet Dragon. That's the brand we're trying to promote. And this is my the organic um, ranch in Valley Center. We have probably, I'd say, eight or nine acres planted now. Um, so what I would like to do is just walk through, uh, being that it's um, late November, or actually it's mid-November, but coming um, into the busy holiday season of November, um, is just walk through with me what I need to do for um, sort of like the last or the maintenance work after most of the harvest season is over, but not entirely. Um, so I have now a little, little opportunity to get to things like taking, maybe I would take that shoot off or at least reduce that to three or two. Um, you know, sometimes I can do some hand work on weeds if the workers I have are um, knowledgeable on the different weeds. Um, well, here you can see that I should just probably remove some of those competitive shoots. Um, certainly this one here. No sense in tying it up. I have one already going up and certainly should be removing these. So, you know, um, labor is, a, is a, a big factor for us. Uh, you need qualified labor, but labor being expensive, um, you can't have like excessive labor because the profit margins in farming are so low. So um, what, uh, what I'm doing now is I'm looking for work for one of our nursery workers. Actually, it's the lady uh, that lives at this ranch and she brings her children in to um, the rainbow facility for school there in the morning and then works with us there in Rainbow. And next week is a holiday, actually the week after next is a holiday week. So I was just looking for work that she can do in the field and she's very skilled at tying and suckering, and training these plants. Her husband who works for me, um, he works in the field. He does um, some of the trellis construction, that type of work. So I, I can't really ask too much of her for that. It's a little, you know, it's a little, t a little bit different kind of work. So I try to fit the, the work level associated with to the skill level. So um, anyway, so I just thought we could walk together on that. You, uh, you can see for yourself that there are areas where like, let's take a look at this, this one individual plant right here. So, uh, here you have very typical kind of um, shoot response, but there's too many. So we want to reduce that at that point to two or three well-placed shoots, probably three, and then remove what I call competition for those shoots that we select. There's no need for this shoot to be here. There's no need for that shoot to be there. And so they're very easy to remove. And, you know, the skilled worker can um, um, do that kind of work very quickly. This. This one is on the wrong side of the post. You see how it has to be 
brought back inside that tube there. And so that, that's the kind of work that I'm looking for here now. Um, you can see the rows are pretty clean. We've mowed them several times, hoed them. <laughs> you know, I, I oftentimes will take out the musters by hand right there. You can see there's some being removed by hand, but, um, but the rows are relatively uh, clear of weeds at this point. Come back. Oop, wrong way. So it's easy to work in this area, and um, so I'm I'm gonna pause now and go to the section over there rather than bore you. All right. So we came back over here, and this is pretty much like what we just walked through. And you, you, we will find this kind of plant where it's, uh, it's weak and possibly next spring we'll replace it. You know, you're going to have a few of these plants that just didn't anchor good root systems for an assortment of reasons. But for the most part, you know, we have a 98% stand. That's how that's referred to. In, in this work is the stand, what was the, you know, the planting, how, what, what was the success rate. Now this is all one variety. Oh, that's what I was going to talk to you about. As we're moving up here, we're getting into some of the older, uh, well this was planted this year, but getting into some of the older plants in of this variety and so they're still all young next year will be our first real production but um, as we get, move up here you begin to see more and more fruit and we just put down a fertilization I thought they were getting a little bit yellow for the winter season. Um, you know, it's hot here in Valley Center. Here are the older plants. There's one fruit there. But we're going to get even into older plants here. Two nice fruit here. But like I said, we're going to get into more production here in a minute. Um, but I don't see a lot of work for my nursery worker, really. Um, okay, so here, this is the oldest section. This was planted summer of last year, so a little bit over a year and a half, and you can see, you know, I didn't get much production in the uh, summer wave, but this last fall wave, I actually got a fair amount of uh, flowering and fruiting. So this will probably come in right around the first of the month. I'm thinking about another week or a week and a half. Oh, so, yeah, see? So we're getting some nice coloring here. See if you can see it. There's some early coloring on that one. And uh, so, yeah, I think about another week or so. Of course, that one will be earlier than uh, the majority. But see, here's a smaller one, and you can see it's beginning to color. Um, don't typically have the ladies harvest. It's not heavy work, but it's just, it, it, it might not be skill appropriate. They happen to have incredible skills for um, our packing house. And so they enjoy that work. Also, it's in the shade. Let's see, so. 
that's an older section there. So we'll see production from that. So looking forward to, you know, analyzing the quality of this fruit in the next couple of weeks. So far, what we have already harvested has been excellent. But uh, we, we, we want to see what happens with each wave is slightly different. And typically by the end of the season, your fruit quality diminishes somewhat. But I think because this is essentially the first crop of this, uh, uh, of these plants, that it's going to hold up the quality. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. All right, well, unless I can think of something else, I'll let you go.